guys welcome back to my channel so I'm going to do a Valentine's inspired look today and I'm just gonna start off with my moisturizer just going to apply a little bit to the face and blend that out and then for primer I'm using this makeup forever primer which I've been using for a long time now it just really helps to smooth out the skin and minimize the appearance of your pores so I just apply a little bit to the areas where my pores are larger and then blend. And then I'm also just going to correct underneath my eyes using this color corrector from Urban Decay. I'll link everything down below as usual. And then just to conceal some pimples and redness, I'm going to use this Makeup Forever Camouflage Concealer Palette and just mix that green and skin tone shade just to cancel out the redness. And then for foundation, I'm going to use the Hourglass Stick Foundation. And I'm just going to apply a little bit at first because this foundation is really pigmented. And then I'm just going to blend that out using my Juvia's Place Flat Top Brush, which I use all the time. It's a really, really good foundation brush. And this formula of stick foundation is much thicker. So it's definitely better to use a brush rather than a beauty blender. Uh, for that type of foundation. That's why I use that brush. And then for my concealer, I'm going to use my Kat Von D concealer, which I've been using a ton lately. I really love the coverage and it blends out really smooth. So I just apply that underneath my eyes and then just everywhere in the center of the face. And I'm just going to blend that out with this Morphe brush. And then to set my concealer, I'm going to use my RCMA No Color Powder. And I always just set basically everywhere in the center of the face and I let that sit and then brush it away because it helps to smooth out the appearance of your skin. And then starting on the eyes, I'm using the Violet Voss Holy Grail Palette and I'm first just going to take that white shade to set everything on my lid and then taking transition i'm just going to add a transition shade first and then go in with hashtag and i'm just going to apply this orange shade to the outer corner and then bring it down to the outer corner of the lower lash line as well and i'm just going to build up the color intensity and blend everything out really nicely and i'm blending in a v shape because i want kind of like a cat eye effect and then taking Wine and Dine, I'm just going to apply that to basically the same area, just kind of condensing it a little bit to the very inner port portion of the outer corner. And then taking these this dark brown shade, I'm going to basically just apply it like liner to the outer corner. And then for the lid shade, I'm going to use Toffee. It's a really, really pretty gold color. And I apply that to the lower lash line as well. And then just take a bright highlight shade and I'm going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes. And for bronzer, I'm using the Bahama Mama bronzer. I'm just going to basically curve out the cheekbones a little bit and then add some warmth to the face. And then for blush, I'm using this Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. And for highlighter, I'm going to be using this e.l.f. highlighter, which is freaking amazing. It's their highlighter powder in Sunset Glow, and it's like, I think it's $6. It might be 3 to $6 because it's the HD edition, but still, it's so cheap and it's so beautiful. You guys need to go get this highlighter if you're obsessed with highlighters. It's such a perfect shade. So I'm just applying that to the high points on my face, and then I'm popping on some Creative Soul Inspired Lashes because... They are the best. And then for my lips, I'm just going to line my lips with a nude lip liner. This is Barely Bold by MAC. And then I'm going to use this Jouer lip cream that has a little sheen to it. It really goes with the eye as well, and it's just really flirty and fun for Valentine's Day. So I'm just going to apply that to the lips. And that is the finished look, guys. I really hope you enjoy. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye!